All right, Tuesday the 21st of April. What am I looking at? Oh, beautiful cars. Beautiful cars. It's snowing. So yeah, it's 636 and one, one degree. degree Celsius. It's supposed to be going down to a low of, I think, minus five tonight. Yeah. And it's been snowing off and on all afternoon and it's extremely windy. So it was pretty gusty last night. I don't know if you heard the winds blowing last night around the house, but uh, I got woken up at one point. It was so windy out. Anyway, uh, off to work on the 76 TR6 project tonight to Les's shop. How are you tonight? Do you have a good day at work today? No. You were working on the the shitter all day. Yeah. Les was having a problem with the plumbing in his shop. Toilet blacked up. <laughs> the bloody shite overflowed all over the floor in the bathroom and then I was shoveling it all up. Well, that sounds great. So yeah, It was a lovely day. Yeah. So Les has had a good day, so we're going to do uh, some stress relief, let's call it. Uh, working on the car tonight, hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of the frame uh, from the 73 strip down tonight. No aggro. We don't have too much more to do, just the front suspension. No aggravation, Les says, so he's going to be... What was the word from the other day? Not cool. Calm? Collected? I can't remember. Anyway, we'll see you when we get to the shop. I'm kind of liking this coming to Les's shop and, uh, and working. <laughs> so, graduated from uh, coffee break to uh, ice cream sundae break, so I'm okay with that. You okay with that? Yep. All right. I have a treat once in a while, brother. Let's enjoy our ice cream before we start I'll working on the TR6. What a shite song. Wanna do a little more dancing? Nope. <coughs> All right, uh, Les says he wants to do both of the uh, sides of the suspension, so we're gonna start on the driver's side. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna remove the brake caliper. So we've got one brake line to undo. We'll remove the brake caliper and then we'll be able to take the uh, hub and rotor off. Then what we'll do is uh, we'll take the dust shield off after that. Then we will uh, break the tie rod off, the steering knuckle, and uh, then we'll proceed from there. All right, we're making uh, progress. The progress is slow, but we're still making it. These shocks can be a bit of a bear to get out because these uh, bottom little H brackets rust to the studs that are bottom on the on the bottom of the uh, spring pan. But we got it out. I thought I'd take a quick video of this. I'm going to get some better light here. I think this shock might be original. The original Unipart GSA 272. You can see the little uh, British Leyland logo. So, yeah, might be an original shock. Don't normally see those stickers, so I thought I'd just take a quick, uh, quick video of that. All right, time to get the uh, spring compressor out, and uh, we'll start working on getting the spring compressor in there, and uh, we'll raise that spring pan up and get those bolts out. Hey, David. Yes, Les. Woo woo. Choo choo. Must be getting late. Les is getting a little punchy. So we've got the uh, spring out on this side and uh, pretty much a couple of bolts there on the bottom of the uh, A-arms on the inside of the frame to get out and the four top bolts on the fulcrum and this suspension will be off on this side. Les is working on the shock bolts on the passenger side, the four at the bottom. And we'll undo the two, uh, the lock nut and the nut from the top of the shock. We didn't have much success uh, getting the other shock out. We uh, ended up snapping off the stud at the top because the nut was seized. So no big deal, we weren't going to go be using those shocks again anyway, so we just used the grinder to get that one out. So, we may be doing the same on this side since we're not going to be able to use a unmatched pair of shocks anyway. I wouldn't go back with these, so we'll probably just grind that nut off the top. Save us some trouble. Right, Les? Yes, David, yes. Excellent. Very much right. By the way, Les, how much work have I done under the car tonight? Ten minutes. <laughs> Les has put me to work tonight. He said he was going to take the driver's side apart all by himself, but that didn't last very long. So he put me to work. He's the boss tonight. 
I'm the boss. Right. Tonight you are, yes, apparently. Yes. All right, guys, just coming up to 10 p.m., and we're not going to get this done tonight, but uh, we've stopped at a good spot, let's say. So we just got the uh, spring out of the passenger side, and uh, we've got six bolts basically to get off the front suspension components for each side, so 12 bolts total to get the suspension off. We still have to get the uh, four nuts off the steering rack clamps to get the steering rack out. Uh, the sway bar's got to come off, so we'll do that uh, next session. A few brake lines here and there to come off. There's a brake union there that needs to come off. Brake union back here that needs to come off. And uh, the emissions, fuel, and brake lines that run inside the chassis have to come off. So I think one more night and this will be stripped down. Of course, the diff has to come out as well. But I think one more night and uh, this frame will be stripped down as far as we can go as well. And then, like I said, uh, we'll put the two frames back together side by side on the floor and we'll have a good inspection of both frames and uh, make some comparisons and some notes. And as mentioned, we might get uh, Alin here to have a look and give us a second impression of what frame he thinks is the better of the two. All right, guys, I think that's it for tonight. Last, you want to say good night? Any Thank final you. any final words? Hey? Yeah, tell them to look for, in their garages for the TR6 parts. <laughs> I'm on the scrounge. Right. Les figures that uh, he's not going to buy any parts for this car. If I was a true scouse, I wouldn't ask. I'd just steal them from you. All right. That's it for tonight, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.